here's the plan. I've decided to make all of the research, all of the blog posts that I'm reading, everything that I come across, all the events and courses and everything in the DevOps space public. It's all going to be on a public Notion page that people can check out and have a look at. And in addition, I'm going to create a newsletter with uh, the curated content of every week. For those of you who see my face for the first time, uh, my name is Anais. I've been working in the blockchain space actually for the past three years and I'm getting started in DevOps. And as you can imagine, I have lots and lots and lots to learn about it. Um, so why did I decide to make all of that learning public? Well, so if you read a blog post, a really good blog post or a book, as not just that somebody decided once in the morning, hey, I'm going to wake up and <laughs> write a book about something, right? It's that somebody read over years some really amazing content and then was like, hey, I've given a lot of knowledge. I build upon that knowledge, my own knowledge, and I want to share that knowledge now, right? So it's like this knowledge pyramid kind of. Um, and different pyramids build on each other. So you have, at some point, you have something really cool when an industry matures. Anyway, so I, I didn't do that. I didn't share my knowledge or like what I was reading about when I got started in the blockchain space. So all of the research summaries and reports and analysis that I wrote for my first company, they are kind of somewhere hanging out in some Google Docs file and nobody's probably ever going to see them, which is which is a pity. So when I worked as developer advocate for my previous company, um, before I changed industry, <laughs> I people would come to me and be like, Anais, I want to understand your platform. I want to understand your tool and how to use it and why it's a great tool. So I would link them to different resources, but I couldn't just link them to our resources explaining why that tool is, is, has advantages or whatever, right? Because it, you wouldn't understand it if you're just getting started, right? It would not be the proper content. People would just have a look at it and then drop off. So what I did instead is refer them to starter content, right? Um, the, the thing is that that's kind of the content that I started with. So I could just, you know, refer them to something like, hey, this is what I read when I got started, or this is this might be appropriate for for what you're interested in, right? Um, but I didn't have that kind of list, so I thought, okay, I'm getting started in a new industry. I'm gonna create that list. So I actually created this summary of different research papers in the blockchain space throughout like a year of reading different papers. That's that's what I came up with. So this is hanging out on this notion. Um, after my first job in this space, I've created to just accumulate what I've, what I've read about into blockchain intro series summaries. So um, those are, those are kind of similar to, to what I've explained before. Those are just snapshots after, after learning about a lot of stuff. Those are just snapshots of like, here's an overview, right? Here's what I learned. Um, so if you come across this, you probably need additional content of like, why did she write this? Where did this information come from, right? So this is kind of what that's going to be about, my DevOps diary. <laughs> uh, that name might change, I don't know yet, but um, here you can basically see different, different places where I will put my newsletter or like the curated content. The curated content, those newsletters, use the first edition that will probably be published today, um, depend on those daily notes. Now, those are work in progress notes. So some of them, like this AgoDC page, is quite comprehensive, has lots of different content, but this information, they are, they are taken from the blog posts and the content that I read about. So you could as much read the same articles and take out different different pieces of the different parts, right? Others like the Kubernetes section, it's just a bunch of different resources that I thought were quite interesting. So I recorded them here. So all of them are kind of different. Um, it really depends. It might be helpful if you are getting started in the space and you are like looking for resources about Kubernetes or resources around Helm, then that might be helpful. So I'm gonna add those weekly to the newsletter. Yeah, if you if you want to contribute, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. Um, but that's that's a plan. Hopefully, this is gonna be helpful. In the end, um, 
I'm, I'm doing this a lot for myself to have kind of to have this overview here, but it's hopefully going to be helpful for others getting started in the space. Or if you're already in a space, it might be helpful to see, hey, what kind of blog posts are out there that newbies like me get get involved with, get read about. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for listening.